Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will talk about introduction to file processing system. A file processing system is a collection of files and programs that access modify these files. In traditional approach before to computer, all information was stored in papers. After computers, the data was stored in the form of files. The way we stored in files is similar to traditional file system. After creating notepad file, we want to display student information on UI user interface like stored data in the notepad file. Now, if we want to see a specific student detail from a file, what do we do? There are different programming languages like C, C++, which helps to do this task. Search the file, open the file, show the data and close the file. Using these programming languages, we can search files, open them, search the data inside them and go to a specific line in the file, add, update, delete specific information. But remember this one we have to write a lengthy program to complete this task. For all these operations, there are some lines of code are required for these operations while in database single small query do this task easily and same case with modification and deletion. So here one thing is clear that it is a difficulty for developers. In this figure, we can see that each application contains its own data files means that common data is repeated due to non-sharing of the same data. Please pause the video and draw this figure on a paper. Alright, another major drawback in the traditional file system environment is the non-sharing of data. It means if different systems of an organization are using some common data rather than storing it once and sharing it, each system stores data in separate files. This creates the problem of redundancy or wastage of storage. Examination and registration files of a student, both files have the same data which is in red color text like student name, student registration number, city and blood group. The same data is repeated in all applications so it is wastage of storage. In database we store data in the form of tables. Tables contain rows and columns so in database we can access data easily rather than simple file. While in database, you can easily migrate database files. Major drawbacks of file processing system are non-sharing of data, which is very harmful, difficulty to backup and migrate, hard to update. The change in the data in one system sometimes is not reflected in the same data stored in another system. Uncontrolled redundancy, duplication of data, hard to handle, time consuming. So the conclusion is due to non-sharing of data which is required for other files in file processing system, it is normally compulsory to store the same data in other files. You know that it is wastage of storage, time and also cost. Thank you guys. For watching exceptional programmers, please subscribe our channel and like our videos. See you in next lecture.